Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome to episode 2 of Gimmick Rejuvenation. So, yes, episode 1 did extremely well. There is over 100 comments. Actually, I've got a video up right here. There is, if my uh, internet doesn't completely fail, there is, let's see, 100 and... 62 comments, 111 thumbs up, nearly 2,000 views as of recording this video. What, where did that come from? You know, where did that come from? I've never, I don't think I've had that many comments in such a short period of time. But remember though, for this episode, let's try it again though. Let's try it again. But this time, if you comment, leave a like rating as well. It always helps me out so much. But anyway, as you can see on the screen right now, we have Leon Sagittarius. And this gimmick was suggested by... Xavier Claiborne, his comment is on the screen right now, and he says, Hipster wrestler that only uses vintage wrestler moves and wears a vintage gear and has a stereotypical moustache and tattoos. So, I love the idea of a vintage, uh, hipster-ish type wrestler, and this is who I've made. So let's get into it. Leon Sagittarius, as you can see. I had to get... <laughs> a custom face texture for the for the uh, interesting mustache beard combo. Look at that. Look at this beard. Look at it. Um, yeah, he's also got like an expander and he's got a tattoo on his neck there. He's got all the uh, things that a hipster type person would have. And um, if we look, he is also wearing a zebra print bow tie. If we uh, look down on his leg here, you'll see the tattoos I decided. What hipster these days, uh, all hipsters have like tattoos, don't they? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I put a tattoo on his leg though, instead of on his uh, arms, as what would probably be expected. I gave him a hairy chest because that also added to take an extra texture up. And because there's no hairiness on the game, of course. And then his attire, of course. Just look at these florally type patterns on both the front and back, of course, it says Hipster too with the little moustache, his face twice, and look at those uh, little Hipster logos with the cassette tape, bow tie, camera, you know, you can't get much more Hipster than that, and then of course on his wrist tape he's got the the, uh, the shades bow tie combo, which is the same as on his boots, but in uh, brown there, well actually the brown on the wrist tape too, it's the same logo, derp derp derp, but yeah, this is him, this is Leon Sagittarius, in all his glory, I guess. Those pants though, those pants designs, trunks designs, took me a while to do. And I've run out of textures actually that I can use. I've used eight different um, logos on this call. One for the tattoo, one for the logo on the side, uh, two, uh, well, three for the front, four for the back, five for the logo, six on the, the side logos, seven for the hairy chest, and eight for the face texture eight different logos used on this car and yeah I like the way he's turned out it's very hipster very vintagey feel and of course his entrance attire has the glasses look at them of course he's gonna be wearing the shades um, how much more hipster can he get it's a shame that he can't get longer beards and stuff on the game otherwise you know he would have it you know he would have it but um, yeah thanks Xavier for the comment idea we will get into the match now This is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Chelsea, England, Leon Sagittarius. Here we go. Okay, so here we are in the match now. Leon Sagittarius taking on Icy La Creme in 1v1 solo action going on right here in El Nacelle Arena. So, yeah, I really enjoyed the response I got from episode 1, especially, especially the first two days of it being uploaded. Just everyone flocked to it. It was just, it just exploded pretty much. I've never had so many comments in such a short period of time. 
um, on my videos and it really uh, surprised me so I'm glad you guys are liking this series I know that um, Pimp My Call was one of my most successful series on WWE 2K14 and I know how much some people wanted that back for 2K15 um, but it's it's kind of it's not really possible to do well it is possible but it's not something I want to do simply because it will be completely different to um, what it was on 2k14 where as at least on 2k14 the cause that I was able to download I could make paint tools that were similar to the designs already used and stuff like that whereas um, if I was to do something on here the the cause I find would either have no no um, no images imported in or the images that are imported in like what am I meant to do with them you know it's like you can't you can't really improve on something if there's either nothing there to start with or the images used are just used already you know so at least with this this is a similar idea you know you give me a gimmick idea and I try to make a call based on that idea and I'm happy with the result of this first guy who I made um, from your suggestions because Icy La Creme was my own creation of course well all of these are gonna be my own creations but Icy La Creme was my own gimmick idea I've I've had the idea for a creative wrestler for a long time actually for at least a year and I've never got around to actually making him um, or making a character based on the gimmick. I always had the, the gimmick idea in mind. I just never went through with it. And I see the creme was finally the final result. Finally the final result of um, that gimmick idea. And this hipster vintage guy that was suggested. I feel like he's turned out well. I feel like I've got the idea down. You know he's got the bow tie. Which is just something that wouldn't be worn while stress on. He's got um, like shorts. Like trunks instead of like the traditional um well trunks i guess yeah he's got like the short trunks instead of just normal trunks he's wearing uh short boots um you know no elbow pads that type of thing you know he's got the tattoo on his leg um all that kind of stuff hairy chest you know, I had to find a texture just for a hairy chest. You know what I had to do? I had to go on Google and type in hairy chests. That's not something I want to be typing into Google, but I did it anyway for this creative wrestler. And it worked out well, but I see. I see. Going for a signature move. Oh, what's he going for here? Boom! And Sagittarius is down. I see. has gone on right where he wants him. Um, going for the pin. And Leon has managed, has managed to get out at one. But, um, yeah. I really like this gimmick idea, so keep them coming. In the comment section below, just like last time, suggest some gimmick ideas. A lot of you guys went with crazy and then just listed a job name, like crazy fireman or crazy um, librarian, I think I've seen. Uh, insane jail, jail guard or something like that, I don't know. It was just stuff like that, just try and keep away from the crazies. I mean, I understand it, I understand the, the appeal of crazy characters, I mean, Amazing Age, um, my fabled character of 2K14 and third, well, he wasn't really in 13, um, his attire was, um, but my fabled character from 2K14 and 2K15, uh, my career mode, he was crazy, you know, a lot of people enjoyed him. Uh, I see Lacrem, I guess you could say he's he's deranged um, too. But I don't want to I don't want to do too many crazy characters, you know. That's why I chose this hipster guy because it's unique, it's original. Stay away from the crazies because I doubt I'll be too, doing too many of them. But I see, oh, he's getting fired up. Look at him. Look, oh, oh, he sees the ropes. He sees the ropes. He's gonna do it. He's passing off ropes and suicide dive through the middle ropes taking Sagittarius out onto the barricade what a move by Icy Lecrem going wild jumping outside the ring taking him out and it pays off it pays off but um yes leave some gimmick suggestions I need some original ones stick away from the crazies and of course if you see a gimmick that you like then you know thumb it up I really liked uh, this guy's um, idea and uh, I did it I did it so you know if you've got an original idea or if you see one that you like, thumb it up, and um, the one that I like the most, I will do for next episode. I will try and post one episode a week, 
Um, people were asking where where this episode was. I mean, it hasn't even been a week yet. This is going up on Tuesday. Um, I uploaded the last episode last Wednesday, I think. If not, if I'm wrong and it was Tuesday, then you know, ta-da, a week later. But I'm pretty sure it's been less than a week. Um, but yeah, I'll try and post these once a week, every Tuesday. And hopefully this can be a good series because I know that you guys enjoyed the first one. But of course, try and keep those thumbs up going. You know, if you're going to comment, don't forget to thumb up as well because that's what counts to me at least. I like seeing a lot of thumbs up. I like seeing over 100 because it doesn't happen often in my videos. The last episode did it. Let's try and go for it again. Uh, but oh, I see with the comeback. Boom, the punch is to the face and he ducks underneath. Bounce off the ropes, out, spine buster down to the mat. Icy's going wild. Sagittarius is not in a good place right now. And of course he's called Sagittarius. He's a hipster. Oh, uh, my name is Leon Sagittarius and uh, I'm just a totally too hipster for anything else. So, you know, I named, my wrestling name is based on my star sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's Leon Sagittarius. Obviously, obviously, um, but oh my god, the knockout roll on elbow, Icy is down, Leon is going to take advantage of that fact, and Icy's getting slowly back to his feet, Leon grabs him, turns him around, and oh he's hooked him, and boom, he's down, into the bridge, into the bridge, look at that beautifully applied German suplex, one, two, three, and Icy can't get out of it, and Leon Sagittarius picks up the win just like that so there we go Leon picking up the win and of course if you did enjoy this episode you know what you gotta do leave a comment I need those comments leave a gimmick suggestion stick away from the crazies of the world because we've had so many of those already and I don't want to make too much more I, that's not to say that I won't come back to it in the future because I might do one maybe two crazy-ish type of gimmicks in the future but for right now it's just not something I want to do right now. So, you know, think of something cool, something unique, something original, and it could be made for next episode. But, um, yes, if you did enjoy this video, please thumb it up too. Let's try and get over 100 likes. Don't forget to thumb it up if you're going to comment in the video. This is helps me out a lot. And then, of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to see all of my videos in the future and forever and ever and ever. It's free. Just click that subscribe button. But that's going to be it for this episode, so I will see you next time.